welcome to the STTS Instrument Care video. The aim of this video is to give you a brief overview on some of the checks that you can make to ensure that your equipment is working to specification. We'll start off with the procedure for centering and levelling your tri -brack. Step one, using your optical plummet, pick up your tripod with the tri -brack on and roughly position it over your point. Trying to ensure at all times that the head of your tripod is roughly horizontal. Once we've got that done, we can then thread the legs in. Regardless of whether we're on concrete or earth, always thread the legs in. If we need to now, what we can do is use the foot screws to just slightly tweak the crosshair so that it is now centered. Step two is to level the pond bubble. Okay, this is the circular bubble here, and we level that using the tripod legs, not the foot screws, that's a, a, a misconception. A few. We'll start by loosening the legs and sliding up the tripod leg. until you can get the bubble floating roughly in the central circle. Once we've done that, we can give it a little bit of a tweak with the foot screws. We now have it roughly centered and leveled. We can start doing the fine tuning using the plate bubble on the carrier. So if we start off by making sure the carrier is in line with our, what we call our first quadrant. Okay, so you see I've got two foot screws. The bubble will move in the direction of my left thumb. We move both in or both out. We use these two for the cross movement and this single one for the lateral movement going backwards and forwards. So we'll do that now by using the foot screws and centralizing the bubble. Okay, so that's all done in quadrant one, using the two foot screws, and then in quadrant two, with the single foot screw. Okay. As we move round to quadrant three, if the bubble stays where it is, in quadrant three and quadrant four, then you now have a precisely levelled tri rack What we can now do is have a look through the optical plummet once more and give it a slide. If you loosen the screw, don't have to take it out, just loosen it, slide it, you should only have to slide it a millimetre or two and then tighten it back up. At this point it's a good idea to go back around the quadrants and just tweak slightly if needs be. And there we have a centred and levelled tri rack and carrier. If, on some occasions, you find that once you level in quadrant one, level in quadrant two, if you move across to quadrant three and the bubble slides across, then you need to take out half of the error. So you take out half of the error, moving it back towards the centre, Move one quadrant again, quadrant four, take out half the error, and then what you expect to see when backing quadrant one is that the bubble doesn't move, and all the way round the bubble doesn't move. Whether it's one or two digits to the left, if the bubble doesn't move, you know that we're now levelled. So now we can check the centering by viewing our target in quadrant one. Again, in quadrant two, if you want, you can mark these positions with a pencil, okay? In all four quadrants, you're expecting, if the instrument is within calibration, you're expecting to see 
the central point spin round itself. Any deviation in this is your, is your error. So what you can do is you can mark these points, there's four points, and then join them up with a cross. And if you are able to do the adjustment yourself, then you can adjust it into the centre. If not, feel free to send it into our repair centre here at SCTS. Thank you for watching the SCTS instrument care video. We hope this has been a benefit to you.